Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the Dana White's contender series bout in the flyweight division between Kevin Borges versus Victor Diaz. And how for this one right here, I'm going low confidence um Kevin Borges to beat Victor Diaz. I feel like Victor Diaz on paper and from the footage, I feel like he should win, but I'm ultimately going to go low confidence Kevin Borges. I just feel like um Victor Diaz is two one track minded. You can say the same thing about Kevin Borges. But I feel like when you kind of at this level, especially this, the game is continues to evolve. It has its, its moments. Like one second, everybody's evolved, and you can't just be a one dimensional, one track minded grappler. The next, you know, people are losing to this one track minded grappler, like that, that dominated a, a division or dominating the sport. But I'm gonna lean with what I'm saying a lot more. You know, it's kind of drifting back to the point. Like these one track minded grapplers are getting mixed up, and strikers are you know starting to you know hold more belts because like oh, I defend a couple takedowns, he's got a a guy who can't got zero hands, can't take a punch in front of you, and you get the easy pick. It's like that first couple of takedown attempts are gonna be scary. The first couple of submission attempts are gonna be scary, but you could get out of those, get back to your feet. You got a live duck in front of you who got no head movement, no hands, no chin, no durability, no skills, no talent. Just a punching bag, a lamp to the slaughter right in front of you. And that's what a lot of these graphics are turning to be. So I like Boris, like on paper, it's like in on video, it's like he's pretty decent in this thing, but I don't see nothing special about his grappling at all. I don't. I see. I don't see nothing special about him as a fighter, to be honest. And I feel like at the elite level, matter of fact, I think, even if he that's not really exceptional grapplers in the UFC, I think, as matter of fact, I'll grapple him on the ground, to be honest, from what I've seen. So I'm not impressed with his grappling. I can see the fact that there's weaknesses in um, Borjas. But ultimately, I feel like Borjas should be the scramble enough. It's probably a little bit scary early. But I think he's going to be at a rally, be the scramble, get back to his feet, and then rip... Um, Victor Diaz to the body and, you know, get him out of there, you know. Diaz is going to try to give us all for the grappling. But when um, Kevin Borja is able to, you know, survive, get back to his feet, start to stuff the takedowns, and then start to stalk him and, you know, break him down to the body, I think it's going to be a, um, all she wrote pretty much. I'm so probably a decent first round for uh, Victor Diaz just based off the takedowns and the grappling attempts. But I think Borja is going to survive ever so slightly and then be able to stalk him, rip him the body, and get him out second round. So in this one, I have Kevin Borjas via second round TKO. 